celebrate the release of the highly anticipated Pretty Punk Please, today I'm going to be showing you guys a haul of items from the store Dangerfield that I have thrifted. Now if you don't know what Pretty Punk Please is, check out yesterday's video where my friends dyed my hair black, which has been a dream of mine for literally over 14 years I have wanted black hair, and uh, yesterday I had it, and I hated it so much that I dyed it, I dyed it red. Yeah. Yeah, look, the comments, they just, they really got to me. Everyone was saying how awful I looked and yeah, I, I just couldn't help but agree. So I just, yeah, it only lasted a couple of hours. Sorry, guys. I'm kidding. In case you couldn't tell, this is a very terrible wig. I've covered up my hair because I don't want to spoil it for anyone. YouTube likes to give people notifications out of order and I would hate for someone to click on today's video and be like, sorry, wait, what? She has black hair. Did I miss something? So I'm going to uh, cleverly disguise my hair under these magnificent wigs of mine for the next couple of days until more of my audience has had a chance to see my black hair transformation. And then the next era of pretty pastel please shall begin. And an excellent way to kick it off is to wear clothing from the store Dangerfield. If you don't know what Dangerfield is, you clearly didn't grow up an alt kid in uh, Australia. Dangerfield was Dolls Kill before Dolls Kill was offending people. Dangerfield walked so Dolls Kill could run and then throw itself off a cliff. For me, growing up as a, an emo or a goth or a punk, I was kind of an amalgamation of all of them. I used to love visiting the store Dangerfield, but we only had one in Sydney and it was located in our main city. And I live very, very, very far away from the city. So I only made it in there about once a year when I was going to a concert. Let's say I was heading to the Linkin Park concert. I would say to my friends, let's go early so we can go see Dangerfield. This is the shop front and you can kind of get the vibe from looking at the front of it. If you want to get an understanding of what they sell, think of the items that they sell at Dolls Kill and Berserk and Hot Topic, for example, and throw them all together and make it sustainable. Dangerfield has a social and ethical compliance policy that I'll put up on the screen and you can pause to read it if you want to. They provide their workers with safe working conditions, there's no child labour, they pay fair wages, living wages for all, reasonable working hours, non-discrimination, fair and equitable treatment, responsible purchasing practices, environmental policy and waste management strategies. For those of you that are hoping to shop more sustainably, definitely check out Dangerfield. As with most sustainable brands though, Dangerfield does come with quite a heavy price tag. Hence why in my entire life growing up as a, a goth kid, I only was ever able to buy one single item from Dangerfield. I saved up for an entire year and I bought a green velvet dress that I cherished and cherished and the only reason that I ceased to cherish it was because it ceased to fit me. And I haven't shopped from Dangerfield since because they don't sell a huge amount of things that are in my current style, or at least the old Pretty Pastel Pleasers style. Dangerfield has their own clothing brand, which is obviously labeled as Dangerfield, but they also sell some other brands like Princess Highway, Revival, Black Friday, Doc Martens, but because of their sustainability policies, they only stock brands that are ethical like they are. But like I said, it does mean that they're quite pricey. A dress from Dangerfield can cost you anywhere from $100 to $300. A coat can be about $250. A pair of pants, probably 120. Now, I haven't shopped at Dangerfield myself ever, really. I've been into it a lot, but I haven't actually bought very much from there. But a friend of mine, Grace, her style, Dangerfield just epitomizes her style. And she discovered it a couple of years ago, and that's where she shops, and she loves Dangerfield so much. And during Thriftmas, I have been doing a lot of online thrift shopping. And I keep seeing Dangerfield and Revival and Princess Highway and all of those Dangerfield brands popping up at online thrift stores. There are a lot of items that I saw that I thought they would just be so perfect for my friend Grace. So I, I knew I had to buy them for her. So later in this video, you'll see when Grace came over and when I gave her all of those items and you can see her trying them on. But I also thrifted some things for myself. I think it's a fantastic idea to find secondhand items from a brand that you're interested in shopping from. And if you like the secondhand pieces, then you would feel a lot more comfortable and confident saving up to buy the stuff brand new. So if you have online thrift stores available to you, definitely search for some of these brands that I'm about to show you from Dangerfield or check out Depop. There's a lot of it on Depop. And then when you receive the items and you see how nice they are, and then you know that the brand is sustainable, you might feel happier saving up a bit of money and splurging on some really amazing pieces. All of the fabrics that Dangerfield uses, they're amazing. It, it really is a massive difference when you shop from a brand that uses very good quality fabrics 
Everything Dangerfield makes, it's really heavy and thick. Anyone that's worn it knows how nice it is. So with that, I'll start off by putting on these pants. These are Dangerfield branded. They're kind of like these pants that I thrifted. These are from IMG. -er. These are a size six and they're a very, very comfortable size six. That's another thing about Dangerfield sizing. They actually run slightly bigger, which is very unusual. Normally we see brands that run really, really small. Dangerfield runs a bit bigger. So I would say a size six pants from Dangerfield could easily fit an Australian size eight. There's a ring here and a ring here on these, which I'm assuming maybe this one would be for a chain. You could put a chain from here to here, actually. I can do that. A, A, the chain from my ING pants. The only thing I don't love about these pants is the length. I'm still not massively sold on slightly shorter pants, but 2022 for me is going to be all about trying new things, so I'm definitely going to try to style these probably with a pair of creepers i would say i feel like that's the that's the go with pants like this another pair of pants i got are these horse print pants from the brand princess highway which they sell at dangerfield these came brand new with tags they're called misty the horse pant and at dangerfield they were 80 australian dollars now i actually got these for grace and uh you'll see her reaction to them later in the video. They're a size 12, so they're not fitting me right, but they're really unusual. They are like collots. I think you call these collots. They finish, no, no. I don't know if you can, can you see? Can you see how short they are? These are very unusual pants and I wasn't able to see any images online of how Dangerfield styled them. A lot of the things that Dangerfield sells, there are no photos of models wearing them anywhere. So I have no idea how people style these. They're made incredibly well. They're so nice. They're really thick, very well structured, well tailored sort of pants, but also the boxiness of the legs. They're just, they're very unusual. I'll put on a dress next and this one covered in cats. This is from the brand Revival. Dangerfield sells a lot of uh, printed items. <gasps> yeah, boy! This dress covered in cats. This is so cute. Dangerfield dresses, they're amazing. Revival, specifically. The brand is Revival. The dresses are so nice. Really beautiful fabric. The top layer is the one with the cats on it. And then there's also a slip layer underneath. It has pockets, which I didn't expect, but that's always an incredible bonus. And they're massive pockets too. Like, I swear I could literally fit a shoe in this pocket. It's so big. You don't need a handbag when you're wearing a dress like this. Ah, oh, this is so cute. It's got a little tie at the front. Ah, this is amazing. Oh, I love this. Oh, I can pair it with this little cardigan. This cardigan is Dangerfield branded. Now this one's definitely been worn a lot by someone. Someone's worn this and loved it. And uh, now I'm going to love it too. It's got little embroidered flowers all over it. This cardigan is nylon and angora. Angora is a type of wool and it's really soft and very, very warm. Seeing as I'm trying on a cat dress, it's only fair that I try on a dog dress now. And this one, which is covered in little French bulldogs wearing pirate hats and uh, also he also has a mustache so um he wins this is from the brand sourpuss now i am like 98 percent certain dangerfield stock sourpuss but i didn't i didn't double check before i started filming this video so perhaps i should fact check myself now no no they don't well that's awkward but they stock it at berserk all right i feel like berserk and dangerfield are probably competitors hence why maybe dangerfield isn't allowed to stock sourpuss uh yes i know that this is supposed to be a dangerfield all. But look, it, it's the vibes, really. It's the vibes that we're going for. So j just because you can't get sourpuss at Dangerfield doesn't mean that I can't include it in today's video. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> look at this dress. This is so cute. Ah! <laughs> I love it so much. It's so nice. This is made really well. What's this made of? 95% cotton, 5% spandex. So it's got a little bit of stretch in it. Interestingly, this is a medium and a medium from Dangerfield would feel more like a medium. This feels like a small to me, so can't really speak on the sizing of the brand Sourpuss. I feel like this one is probably the sort of brand where you do have to go up a size. If, if this was a small, I think it would be too small around my rib cage. So turns out I'm a size medium in at least this style of dress from Sourpuss. All right, another brand that I was certain Dangerfield stocked, and I, I know they stocked it because I remember I used to see it there. So unless they've taken it away or maybe it's only available in stores or something I'm not sure but it's the brand Hell Bunny oh my god this dress is a dream 
It's a dream. This is like one of the nicest dresses I've ever owned and I just, I really want to see myself with my new hair wearing this dress. If you haven't seen my new hair yet, may I suggest that you pause now <laughs> and go check out my hair transformation video from yesterday because I'm going to take off my wig. Uh, you have now been warned. Please take this as the spoilers. <laughs> Please don't be mad that I'm about to spoil the hair reveal, but uh, I just, I have to see this with my hair. Oh my God. <laughs> look, look at me. Look at me in this dress. I don't think I've felt this good in years. You know what's crazy? The most confident I've been in my life was probably when I was in like year 10 at school. I was, a, I was a goth. I dressed however I wanted. I weighed more than I weigh now and I felt so good about myself always. And weirdly enough, it wasn't until I started losing weight and dressing in a more appropriate style for work and being an adult that I lost my confidence. But you know, dyeing my hair black and starting to dress in these styles that I used to love is really helping me to feel much better about myself again. And when I looked at myself in the mirror just then with my new hair and this dress, I can't begin to explain to you how good it feels to be me right now. I feel, I feel really happy and I feel, I just, ha ha, yee, yee. Watch me replace 90% of my wardrobe with swing dresses. I will do it, I, I'll do it. You can't stop me, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, this is so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of feel bad now because it's not from Dangerfield and I lured you here by calling this a Dangerfield video and you can't get this on Dangerfield. But I'm certain there'll be someone in the comments that knows a lot about Hell Bunny because a lot of people collect Hell Bunny dresses. I'm sure that someone can leave a comment and let us all know where you can get Hell Bunny from. Seeing as I have this on, I'll put a coat on that is from Dangerfield. This is a hilarious story about this coat because it's a size 16 and when I saw it, I thought, oh, I'm going to buy that for Caitlin. And I added it to my cart and I paid for it. And I get this message from my mum and she says, someone just stole my beautiful Dangerfield coat out of my shopping cart. I'm so upset. And I was like, Dangerfield, you say? Was it black with polka dots? And she was like, yeah, that was the one. And I was like, <laughs> That was me. <laughs> that happens a lot when you're thrifting online and obviously there's only like one single item. It's not like a, a shop where there's 10 of them. It's just one single item. And if you've got it sitting in your cart and you're sort of undecided, often someone will buy it. And that's happened to me a few times. I've, I've had something sitting in my cart and I'm going to pay for it, but I'm taking my time browsing on the website. And by the time I go to check out, the thing is gone. So that's what happened to my mum. My mum went to get this and I bought it before she had the chance to. And, uh, I was like, oh, mom, you know, what were you buying it for? And she was like, I was buying it for myself. And I was like, oh, well, I bought it for Caitlin. So now I'm in this slight predicament where I'm like, hmm, do I give it to mum or do I give it to Caitlin? I feel like I know what Caitlin's answer would be. Caitlin would say, give it to your mum. <laughs> this is probably one of my favorite thrifted finds. This Dangerfield coat changed my life. The day it arrived from Salvo's and I tried it on, I was like, you know what? Yes, I own a lot of beautiful pastel coats, but this one, this incredible kind of teal color, I love it. And you know, the leopard print, a lot of people make fun of leopard print. I think it's just the perfect amount of leopard print. I think the color is majestic and it looks so nice with a short dress underneath. That's how I wore it out last time. Now for a dress that's actually from Dangerfield because these past two, they, they have not been. But this one, this little tartan dress, you guys saw me wear this out in a video last week sometime. This dress looks a lot better on me today with my black hair than it looked on me <laughs> last week. I wasn't sure how to style this when I wore it last week. I just put it on with a pair of black boots, but even just on its own, it's so cute. It's made so nicely. Next is a really cute flamingo cardigan by the brand Revival. Now this is a size 16 and I actually got this for Caitlin because Caitlin looks incredible in blue. I really want to see her in this and if she doesn't like it, I might keep it for myself because even though it's a size 16, it doesn't look that much bigger. It kind of just looks like a, a loose relaxed fit cardigan. So this is a beautiful cardigan with a little necktie. It's really nice fabric. The cardigans from Revival they're amazing. And these last two pieces, once again, I, I think I've failed you with the whole Dangerfield theme. These are the brand Collective, and I thought Dangerfield stocked Collective, but I can't see it on their website, so maybe they don't anymore. This top is beautiful, but the sizing is also whack, because apparently this is a UK size 10. I'm like a UK size 6, 
So I don't understand how that works because this is quite tight on me. So if that's been your experience with Collective, that it runs kind of small, leave a comment down below to warn people. But aside from the fit, the quality of this is so nice. And the print, look at the print. It's got a lady with a black polka dot swing dress with black hair and pink and blue Cadillacs. This is who I am about to become. I just need to find a black polka dot dress and a pink Cadillac. I'm sure I can thrift one of those. And finally, the same top, but in a different print. Fairly certain the one person must have donated all of these things. There was actually a huge amount of pinup and rockabilly clothing on Salvos the other day. There was so much of it. It must have just been one person who decided, you know what, I am no longer into pinup and rockabilly. I am henceforth going to be a punk and they've just donated all of it. I actually think I like this top more than the other one, surprisingly, as much as I love the pink Cadillacs. I just, I really like this. This is so cute. Also, don't know if it looks better on the shoulder or off the shoulder. Let me know what you guys think. But with that, that's everything for me to try on. So let's have a look back a couple of days at when Grace came over and I gave her all of the things that I got for her. So with that, um, I think, have a look at this mm. oh, okay yeah you yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> it's funny you have a similar oh the one over there yeah and i saw it and i was like mm, i like this and then i like this more the one grace is talking about i thrifted this this is a vintage sweater and it's a pastel version of essentially of what you that was thought. the only turn off really yeah this grace walked in she got up the stairs saw this and she was like oh that's nice and i was like have I got news for you? Everything that mm. I've got for you, nothing is less than oh, great it. condition. It looks so good on yes. you! Yes! It looks so good! I think I saw this online recently. Yeah? Yeah. And I wanted it and then I was like, okay, good. You're a cheap bitch. <laughs> you won't get it. <laughs> I think that I got that for like... $15 or something. It's funny, I find that um, I tend to buy, like a lot of the guys and girls stuff is they still have the same print, they just have a different shape. Right. Which okay. is perfect, so then I buy the guy stuff because the bodies are longer. Ah, oh, is that the, yeah. that's the life hack, is it? I love the colors. Yeah. I love the colors. Grace and I were saying earlier, feel free to keep rummaging. We were saying that um, between all of our friends, we all have such very, very different uh, likes and dislikes. Uh, Caitlin would find something like that like horrible because she doesn't like loud patterns, for example. But then, <gasps> it's so cute. I know. That's, one of my favorites. I would have that for myself, but I think that- I know, I panicked just then. <laughs> no, 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 but I, I think that it's better for you because Look you, the little you, you wear things like this. There's one thing about this that I think that you won't like. I'm interested to see when you put it on, how you deal with that. Now, how? You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> is it like a fall down situation? No, I don't- Are you sure? Oh, it is, it is, is it? Is. It, and then, oh, hang on, maybe- And then like a, a, a bow? I feel like I can see Caitlyn Caitlyn's a bow person. Caitlyn really likes to tie things up around the neck and stuff yeah. like that. She, she literally got a, a neck scarf. I saw. <laughs> I saw. And then she put it over her head and she looked like a little... Babushka. <laughs> yes! <laughs> so yeah, if you want to alter it, I'm sure that people can leave comments for you and give you a little bit of advice as to how you would do that like neatly, you know, without... Yeah, damaging what you, it. What do you think? I love everything about it except these. Although I don't even mind this. It looks really nice. Yeah, it's But quite... if you're less likely to wear it because it's got something about it you don't like, you're better off yeah. sniffing. Now try this. This is not from Dangerfield, but I've just chucked this into the haul because this is a vintage cotton shirt mm -hmm. that I thought could look really nice on you. This is made in Australia. It's a bit big, but I figured you know, I don't mind that. There's a little button oh, there. No, I don't miss... Oh, hang on. Would you bring it all the way up? Oh, that's mm, actually... Yeah, but I think you'd wear it. You'd need the right kind of pants. That's kind of yeah. cool. Uh, see, you can pull that off. Like that that look where you button it all the yeah. way up. Oh, that does look really cool, actually. It's like a priest. <laughs> well, I figured you could probably undo those buttons that are on the actual collar and maybe iron the collar so that it sits a bit wider mm. open. So it gives you like a not so much of a choking kind of look. And yes, I don't have an iron, but maybe that'll be my Christmas present to myself. What a low point. I think this may be a men's shirt. I'm not sure, but yeah. there's something about it, even though it is kind of like, what did you say, priesty? Yeah. There's a, an aesthetic that you can work with. So like you said, with the right yeah. pants and with the right shoes and everything, or leave it really buttoned open. Mm. Super. Uh, see, I reckon if I can you lift up your arm. Yeah, I feel like if we roll the sleeves a little bit, it might. Oh yeah. Make it look a little bit more like Ooh. casual. 
kinky style. Yeah, that's bitch. <laughs> <laughs> much better. See, isn't it? This is a trick that Tiasha taught me. One day I put on a pair of jeans and I was like, I hate them. And she was like, bitch, roll, roll them up. And I was like, what are you talking about? And I rolled them up and I was like, this is the best jeans I've worn in my entire yes. life. Yes. Oh, I love that now. That's so much better. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Roll up the sleeves, have this yeah. open, you know, one of the boys can iron it for you so that it kind of sits more, you know, open I like love, that. I love our gender role situation. One of the boys can <laughs> iron it for you. <laughs> it was so funny the day that we were all up here trying, we were like lounging around drinking wine and trying on shoes and all the boys were downstairs cooking us dinner. And I was like, yes, we love these non-toxic men. Kicking goals, kicking goals. <laughs> Surely this is a you thing. Oh, thank God. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do if she pulls that out. She's like, oh, I love it. I'll be like, get. Oh, I definitely can see this in you. Um, it's very. Um, it's a choice. What do you? Oh, this is also not from Dangerfield, but this is one that I'm yeah. certain that you're gonna love. That's cute. And doesn't it feel nice? It does. Oh, these guys are usually expensive. That's an expensive brand. What's it mm. called? Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz. Yeah. Yep. So we, when we were at the shops the other day, we walked past that surf I store like this. that sells those. Yeah. And you pointed to one, and you were like, "Hey, I bought that shirt the other day, or whatever it was." Yeah. And I was like, "Well, I got you one of those too." God, you have a good memory. It's a. God, I love this. Yes. <laughs> it's just. It's really comfy. It's so soft, and it's yeah, it's comfy. I, I don't remember what that is. I don't. I have a feeling it's not for you. I don't feel like you would have bought this for me. What is it? I don't know. Oh, it's a skirt. Is it? Ah, uh, yes. This is no. This is for a, sorry. Sorry to get your hopes up. You gonna put it on? You in a skirt? No, but I'll wear my jeans underneath. It doesn't count. The funny thing to me is like I don't know if skirts don't suit you or if I'm just so used to seeing you not wearing skirts that it's just. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> I feel so uncomfortable. Michelle has big hips. She has this yeah. little tiny waist and she's, she's she'll fill it out and it'll sit so beautifully. I hate this. <laughs> Um, a stressful and uncomfortable little segue. Sorry. Sorry. Maybe better luck with this one. I don't know if you'll like it or not, but you might be open to trying something new. It's a lot like that jacket. You have a jacket. Or yes, I do. Those. That I got in Japan. You have a good memory. If these were like a like a tan, like a brown, or brown tan, mm. black, I would wear the shit out of them. Yeah. Well, here I've got good news for you. Here's something that you probably will like. <laughs> <laughs> these ones are brand new with tags. What does the tag say? Price was? What was the price? It's Hang on, let me guess. Uh, 80? Very close, 88. $88. God, you're good. I swear to God, my mom tried to put me in something like this when I was 10 and I was like, no! Same. <laughs> no corduroy, no stripes! <laughs> oh, I like those. Damn, you're really good at picking size. Or maybe they're just really good at making pants. <laughs> maybe they're just a good company that, you know what? Maybe I've just traumatized you from sticking you in the clothing room yesterday. <laughs> This is for you, from, oh. but it's not from Dangerfield. Cute. It's from H&M. Uh, it's part of an H&M video that I'm doing where I'm thrifting clothing from H&M. I don't know if you would actually wear that in your regular life, if, if you're a Disney kind of girl. Yeah, that is unfortunate. I think you're definitely gonna like this shirt. Actually, I, I know you're gonna like this shirt, so it's fine. Oh, no, it's not what I thought it was. No. <laughs> okay. Never I'm mind. Gonna... I got, I'm confused. You got your hopes up. I thought that was the. I thought it was. The, I'm gonna put it on anyway. Are you sure? Once. Yes. There's another shirt that's got a very similar pattern. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You know what? It's. It's not a shirt. It's like it, a box. There's another shirt I got for you. It's white like that, and it's got a print on it, but. It has sleeves and it and the lower half of the shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Have a look. Oh. Ooh, these are comfy. See, they're unusual. They are. I feel like it's something Michelle would pull off very well. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I guess that sort of balances it out a bit better. I mean, this is the most extra outfit I could possibly ever wear. <laughs> <gasps> this is for you. I like this. Not from Dangerfield once again. I'm sorry, I know I called this a Dangerfield haul. I Baited you all. I showed you like five things from Dangerfield. <laughs> all right, well, thank you so much for uh, coming along and letting me dress you up. And uh, with that, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. You, you did the kissy thing. Yeah, for you. Aw, thank you. That was so cute.